In today's video tech tip, I wanted to highlight another one of the new features that has been added to SolidWorks Composer for 2020. It's always been pretty easy to create animations within Composer, for instance, maybe a simple view rotation. Um, to do this, we can basically just make sure that we are in animation mode, as you can see by that film strip in the upper left of the viewport. Uh, and then it's just a matter of adding in some of our view keys, our camera keys. So right here, maybe at zero seconds, I want this view to be my, my view. Maybe uh, at two seconds, I would like to change the view. Right now we can see we're in the three quarter view, but if we go ahead and choose the next one here, maybe we rotate that around a little bit. We can add another camera key for that. At four seconds, we'll go to the next one here, add another camera key for that. And then maybe at six seconds, go to the next one, add a camera key for that. And then finally at eight seconds, add the original view that we started with. So if we go back to the beginning, you can see that that is a, a very easy way to go ahead and create a view animation. But what if you wanted to integrate this with other videos, uh, or maybe you're just not comfortable outputting videos from SOLIDWORKS Composer? Uh, well, one of the new features they added this year, if we go back to image mode and go to our high resolution images, is the ability to create a 360 degree capture. Uh, the first thing you wanna do for this is go to your high resolution tab here within the high resolution image workshop, and just make sure that you have the resolution set correctly for the type of video that you're trying to create. In this case, I wanna create a 1080p video of that 360 degree animation. So here I've, I've set that. Uh, but now if we go to the multiple tab, this is where that new feature comes in. So down here at the bottom of the screen, they now have an option to automatically output a sequence of images for a 360 degree capture. You can set the number of images. You could either set this to 360, which would give you basically an image at every degree of rotation, or if you'd like to have an image at every half degree of rotation, maybe set that to 720. Uh, from there, you can then take that and save out those images to a specified folder. Here you can see I've actually already saved these out. Uh, and if we scroll down here, you can see that it's exactly what uh, we, we were hoping to get. It's a whole sequence of images as we go and rotate around this, this sea scooter. Um, so now that I have these images, what can I do with those? Uh, well, one of the ways that we could utilize those is to create our own type of animation. And maybe we wanna have a little bit more fine control over that animation. Well, to do that, we would need to bring it into one of our, our video editors. For this particular example, I'm going to use a free video editor. This is free to download on the internet. This is an application called DaVinci Resolve. I'm using version 16 here. I believe version 17 might be out now, but this is just a pretty robust video editor that's available for free to anybody. So here within this video editor, I can now browse to those 720 images that I output before. We'll go ahead and select all of those. And now here in the edit section of DaVinci Resolve, I can simply grab those images and drag and drop those onto my timeline. You'll see that's gonna show up uh, with those images over there in the, uh, the media bin or the media pool on the left-hand side but I can now go ahead and drop those in here to the, the timeline. Uh, and now I can go ahead and play that animation. And here we get a, a really nice smooth animation uh, based on those images that I just imported. Uh, we can see right now the animation's a little bit slow. Maybe I'd like this to go a little bit faster. Well, it's just a matter of going ahead and grabbing that clip and maybe changing its, uh, its clip speed. So here we can see we're at 100% clip speed. Um, I could either adjust the, the frames per second here or just adjust the, uh, the speed. So if I want this to go twice as fast, we'll set this to maybe 200%, uh, which will give us uh, an animation that's gonna take half the time. So we'll go ahead and change that. And if we go back and play it now, we can see now it's going a little bit faster. Um, and now that I have this here, I can go ahead and add my own audio over this. Um, I can maybe speed it up or slow it down in certain areas, or I could start cutting this clip up and creating my own custom video for it. So a pretty cool capability that gives us more flexibility within SOLIDWORKS Composer 2020. Hope you've enjoyed today's tech tip and keep coming back for more.